So in, in terms of meeting the parks challenge, you go to the park, uh, you establish where you are, what you're supposed to be doing, uh, and then you go on, on a big hunt, uh, like an Easter egg hunt. You go and find the code. Uh, it's, and once you've done it, you write it down and, and return uh, the same way or, or, or finish the trek uh, and make sure you record it on your, your individual challenge so you get the credit for it. So it's, it's pretty easy, uh, but you've got to go do it. Well, there's nothing better than getting out into a King County Park on a sunny day uh, and enjoying the vast variety of park experiences that we have here in King County and the vistas that our community provides in terms of uh, the Cascades, Puget Sound, Mount Rainier, and all the different recreational activities that our parks have to offer. So uh, getting out uh, away from the courthouse, uh, clearing your mind, getting a chance to get some exercise, and also to see just the tremendous parks opportunities that King County Parks provides for the citizens of King County. Well, I like a chance to get out and see exactly what King County is doing. I like to see how our parks have evolved over time. I like to see the, st the status of them, if they're well maintained, are there improvements that we could make. Uh, so it's a nice way to be able to combine exercise and activity with a county function and also part of my responsibility is provide oversight and check in and see how county uh, systems are working. When you weigh those things, this is probably the best opportunity for me as a council member to sort of see what's going on with parks, get some exercise at the same time. Well, I have, I can't say I have a favorite park. I have three favorite parks and a really wonderful park system, but the first is uh, really the crown jewel of, of our system, which is Marymore Park. Uh, just because of the vast array of things that you can do there. It's centrally located between urban, suburban, and rural uh, King County. Uh, you can get to it relatively easily from almost anywhere in King County and have a really wide variety of activities. So Mary Moore is one of my favorites. I've gone there for years and years. The second would be Cougar Mountain, simply because it was uh, another uh, gem, uh, if you will, in our crown for King County Park System in terms of really sort of opening up the open space opportunities for King County, which since we started with Cougar Mountain back in the early 1980s, we've added uh, tremendously to the King County Park System. But Cougar is still a great centrally located, easily accessible a park that has tremendous trails. So you can get up and hike uh, on it very quickly and be in the middle of nowhere at Cougar. Uh, and then my third is one that's not as well known, uh, a little bit newer, mid-90s, we established the Maury Island Marine Park, uh, which really is a fabulous park to get to either by land, preferably by water. It's a walk back in time on that beach. Uh, and again, once very quickly you're in the middle of nowhere, but enjoying the experience. Dog parks are fabulous. They're fabulous for the animals. They're fabulous for the dog owners. It's a new experience for everybody. Uh, everybody gets tuckered out, uh, and that's good. So it's a good exercise program as well. Uh, the message to employees is to get out of the courthouse or get out of the, uh, the administration building, uh, get out of wherever your cubicle is. Uh, and several times a year, go enjoy King County Park. See what the park system provides for you and for all of us, for families, and for those who love to recreate in the Northwest. Our King County Park system is big. Uh, it's varied uh, and it's fabulous to go and enjoy. So they should participate and spread the word.